By the end of this video, you learn how to create a mask like this one, or this one, or this one, or this, which is definitely one of my favorites. And you learn some cool ideas on when to use it. For example, sharing a PowerPoint presentation or doing an interview, maybe not with yourself. Let's get started. Let's start by adding the webcam as a source to our scene one. Click on plus, video capture device, and I'll call it webcam. Now we want to create a mask for the webcam. To do so, the first thing to choose is the shape that we want to give to the mask. Here you can be very creative and choose whatever shape you like. I recommend you use canva.com that has a free plan where you'll find all the shapes that you need. However, you can also use PowerPoint or any other tool that you prefer. In this tutorial, I'll use Canva. Let's open it. If you don't know Canva, you can just Google for it or type canva.com. You can sign up. In my case, I will just log in because I already have a free account. Once you are in the main page, click on Create a Design. Let's choose the presentation template that already has the same dimensions of our camera, that is 1080p. We now have a blank camera. Let's look for a shape that we like under Elements. Go to Lines and Shapes. And here we find many, many shapes, most of which are free. Let's start with a simple one, a circle. Remember that these dimensions are the exact dimensions of your camera and the exact dimensions of your OBS window. Our face will be placed here in the middle, so let's make sure that the circle is big enough to contain our face. Let's center it. Good. Now what we have to do is to set the background as black. Let's go here and change the background color. The circle, which is where our face will appear, should be white. And that's basically it. We have built our first mask. To download it, let's click on this arrow and let's choose PNG. The file will now appear in our download folder. Let's go back to OBS. To use the shape that we've just created as a mask, we need to go on our source, right-click on it, Filters, and then in Effect Filters, click on Plus. And here we'll find Image Mask Blend. We can call this Round Mask. Click on OK. Now here we have three options. Alpha Mask, Color Channel, Alpha Mask, Alpha Channel, and then some Blend options. Let's choose Alpha Mask, Color Channel. We now have to select the image. Go to Browse and then select it from the folder where you've placed it. And here we go, we have created our first round mask. As you can see, maybe I'm not positioned very well. So what I can do is either lift up my webcam and place myself in the middle, or if I cannot move the webcam, then I create a new mask where I reposition the circle. I mean, going back to Canva and maybe place it a little bit higher. If we want the mask to reveal a larger part of the webcam shot, just make the circle bigger, like this. Let's center it, and let's download the new image. Back to OBS, and let's now change image. The new one reveals a larger portion of the webcam shot. There are many occasions when masking the webcam may be useful. For example, when sharing a presentation in the background. Let's open a template PowerPoint. By the way, if you want to learn the proper way to share a PowerPoint presentation via OBS, check soon for my tutorial in the card up here. Now back to OBS, I want to add the PowerPoint as a new source to the same scene. Click on plus, window capture, I will call it PowerPoint, and select PowerPoint from the menu. Click on OK. I will resize it. That's my must webcam, and I will make this smaller. For example, here at the bottom. This looks nice. Now you figured out the process. Let's now try with other shapes and add some small effects that will make the old thing look even better. Let's go back to Canva and let's create a new slide. And now let's scroll down and see whether we find some other shapes that we like. This one is a nice one. A 
maybe this one. So we can find cool stuff in frames. I like this one, it's more of a brush style. And we have to fill it with white color. And let's try this one. As you see, the sky is the limit. Play with it until you found the shape you like. Let's go to download. Remember to select an image format. Let's download all pages at once. Back to OBS, let's now change the shape of the mask. We don't have to do everything from the beginning. Just have to change the image file. Let's go to webcam and right click, filters. And then in the path, I will browse for the new shapes. This is one, let's see how it looks like. Pull out one, also good. Brush style one, I like this one. Probably my preferred one, also this is nice. Let's now decorate the mask and make it even nicer. I'll go back to the circle mask, which will be the easiest to use for decoration. Back to Canva again. Okay, this is the circle. Now let's see how we can make it a little bit nicer. Okay, let's say I want to put some flowers. Now we have to export the graphic element without the white circle. So I can select the circle and delete it. Let's download it and back now to OBS. We want to add the decoration element as an image. So let's click on plus, image, and let's call it flower decoration and browse for the file. Here it is. Now the image is covering up everything. Actually in Canva, you can download an image with a transparent background. However, you must have a pro plan for that feature. If you like me only have a free plan, there is a workaround. Let's right click on the image, filters, and apply chroma key. In the color, let's click on custom. Let's go to select color and select black. By doing so, we will remove the black background. So, so far, nothing appears on screen. That's because we have to play with these parameters. Let's bring the similarity down to one and voila, our decoration is there. Let's now resize it to make it fit our mask. Cool, we now have a spring theme mask. Maybe that's not exactly what you want for a business presentation, but you get the point. What I use for my tutorials is a yellow ring. Let me hide this and add a new source. Image, I'll call it yellow ring. And here I have the ring. As you can see, it's not just a yellow ring, but it also has some shadows that will add a little bit of three-dimensionality to the camera shot. I have created the shadow effect in PowerPoint. Let's resize it and make it fit my webcam shot. Here we go. And this is the subtle shadowing effect that I was talking about. Using masks can also be a great idea if you're doing interviews. For example, you can capture your camera and the camera of the person you are interviewing on Zoom and build a nice branded scene, something like this. Now you see two of me, but in one of these two masks, you can put your guest. If you want to learn how to transition from this to this, then make sure you watch my next tutorial that you will find linked at the end of this video. If you want to receive a notification next time I publish a video, make sure you subscribe and activate the bell. I hope you enjoyed. That's all for now. See you at my... at our next digital tip.